So I want to add up all the numbers from 1 to 5. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And I'll say S is equal to this. So 1 and 2, that's 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 5 is 15. All right. I don't want to ever have to do that again. It's hard enough when there are just a few numbers. Now, what if there's 1 to 100 numbers? Well, let's do it with, let's figure out how to do this the simple way with just a few numbers, and then with lots of numbers. So, S is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, and we know that's going to be equal to 15. So I'll put equals 15 here, but it's not necessary. Not necessary. Now I'm going to write this again, but this time I'm just going to reverse all these numbers. S is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 3 plus... Oh, I can't believe I did that. 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. All right. I put an underline there. I'm going to add these guys up. 1 and 5 is what? 6. 2 and 4 is 6. 3 and 3, that's 6. 4 and 2, 6. 5 and 1, 6. Huh. All of these guys add up to 6. Isn't that amazing? Let's add up the S's. There are two S's, right? So two of these S's are equal to 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. This is also going to be equal to 15. Add them up, and it's going to be 30. All right? Now, how many of these 6s do we have? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, we have this many. What do you know? So I could rewrite that as 5 times 6. And, of course, that's equal to... 2s, which is equal to 30, of course. 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Let me put that over here. So 2s is equal to 30, divide by 2, and what do you get? S is equal to 15. Ha, 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 ha. What do you know? Well, let's see if we can do that with a, let's try it with a toughie, like a hundred. S is equal to one plus two plus dot, 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 plus, uh, just do the last two numbers also, 99 plus 100. Now we reverse it. The 100 over here, the 99 over here, ah. Uh, doesn't line up too neat and nice. Dot, dot, dot. Plus, dot, dot, dot. Plus, two, plus, one. Well, once again, there are, I'll add up the S's. Two S is equal to. They're all going to add up to the same thing again. The same thing again. 101. 101. And 101. Wow. How many of these 101s do I have? I got a hundred of them. So I take the 101, I multiply it times a hundred. Because I got a hundred of them. And that gives me another two zeros on the end here. So that guy is equal to 2s. I now divide by 2, and what do I get? Uh-uh-uh. I'm going to get, well, half a 10,000 is 5,000. Half a 100 is 50. Bingo. There's my answer. So the sum of all the numbers from 1 to 100 it's 5,050. Huh? What do you know? Does that work with thousands? 
we can find out. How can we find out? We're going to sum up everything from 1 to 1,000 now. So, we write 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 999 plus 1,000. Yes? <clears throat> now in reverse. 1,000 plus 999 plus dot 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 plus 2 plus 1. Add them all up, what do we get? A thousand one. They're all going to be a thousand one. How many of these a thousand ones do I have? I have a thousand of them. So I multiply this times a thousand, and what am I going to get? I'll just put three zeros on to the end of it. One thousand one, one, two, three. So that gives me one million, one thousand. I know that's equal to 2s. 2s is equal to this. I just divide by 2, and what do I get? 1 million, 1, 000, That's 500. Half of a million is 500,000. We know that. Half of a thousand is 500. So the answer is 500,500. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? Okay, let's see if we can do it real quickie. Sum up everything from 1 all the way to 20. Oh, what do we do? Real quick. Well, 20 plus 1 is going to give me 21. How many of these 21s do I have? I got 20 of them. Oh, that's too tough. How about if I say 21 times 2 times 10? That's good. 2 times 21 is what? 42 times 10 is 420. All right, that's what the 2s is going to be equal to. Divided by half, what do we get? 210. Ta-da! All right, we can, do, we can do fives, we can do hundreds, we can do twenties. Can we do thirties? Add up everything from 1 to 30. See what we get. 30 plus 1 is what? 31. How many of these? 30. 31 times 30 is the same as 31 times 3 times 10. 3 times 31 is what? 93 times 10 equals 930. Divide it in half. What do we get? Half of 900 is 450. Half of 30 is 15, oh my goodness, 4, 6, 5. There's our answer. 465. Well, that's all I got to say on this subject for now. So, let me draw a big smiley face and say, so long.